It's okay. Come, the stars await, and we mustn't keep them. Captain. expanse. It's easy to forget sometimes. You can say that again. But we made it. To Zega Grande Skydom. never ended? To me, seeing the world with everyone is so much fun. I sort of wish that it could go on forever and ever. You read my mind. Looks like the ship's flying steady again. Let's go check on the others. Um, Catalina? What is it, Lyria? What do you think is out there? At the end of the Sky Realm, I mean. A wall, maybe? <laughs> if there is, it'd be pretty tall. Oh, now that you bring it up, I guess I've never thought about it before. Hey. Can I ask you something? What do you think is at the end of the world? <laughs> we'll find out when we get there. <laughs> I knew you'd say something like that. <laughs> <laughs> On the other hand, we know there's at least two things waiting for us out there. First is Estelucia, the island of the Astrals, and second is your dad. I can't imagine what adventures we're in for next. We'll just have to keep going and see for ourselves. <laughs> you and Lyria are totally in sync. <laughs> You're certainly in high spirits, Lyria. <laughs> I'm just excited to start a brand new adventure. Me too. Who knows what we'll find in this Skydom. Feel that wind flowing through your hair. 
It does have a certain nostalgic quality to it. Wait. Does that mean you've been to the Skydome before, Rosetta? Oh, sweetie. <laughs> I can't start giving away my secrets now. Aw, you never give me a straight answer. Because you've got no filter. Maybe you'll understand when you're older. Zip it! I've told you a bunch of times, stop treating me like a baby! She's right, Rackham. Eo is a mature, sophisticated lady. Two against one ain't fair. Play nice, Rackham. Aw, oh, come on. Three against one? I was just teasing. Sorry for having a little fun. Ugh, if anybody's the immature one, it's Rackham. Oh, Eo. Just forget about him. Think about these new skies we get to explore. Skydom. Reminds me of my younger days. Got me falling in love with the skies all over again. But you can rest easy. I'm keeping an eye on the horizon. Anything comes close to the ship, and you'll be the first to know. We're glad to have your eagle eye, Eugen. Yep. That's why I always eat my carrots. Why don't you go check on the rest of the crew? I got things covered up here. We're on the verge of entering a new Skydom. Don't ease up now, Captain. <laughs> Seems like everyone's in high spirits. Should be seeing signs of civilization soon. I hope the island has a hotel. Huh? Heads up! We got monsters! <laughs> How'd I miss a whole flock of wyverns? Were they hiding in the club? Out! Neo! Rosetta! Get your head on the lizards on the port side! On it! Yelly jerks! Out of our way! Sure showed those losers. <laughs> you can't mess with the best. <sighs> <laughs> we did it! It 
wouldn't. Evasion's gotta be iffy. Everyone, 
Hang on to your butts! Wow! You're gonna kill us first, Jackal! Yeah! yeah! You see that? It appears we're still alive. At the start? Bahamut's near the bow. Now's our chance to attack! Keep up the pressure! Did that work? Okay now. Jeez, really had me worried there. I. <sighs> Lyria! Lyria's voice echoed through the darkness. It was familiar. Painfully familiar. Just like the day we met. Before this whole long journey began. Though I could barely use my sword, I tried to protect Lyria from the Empire. I almost died. But then... You protected me. Now it's my turn to save you. Take my power. Let it guide you. Let it become your strength. I know you can do this. <laughs> Our lives are linked. While I may not fully understand how, Lyria gave half her life to save me. Her gift gave me the push I needed to pursue my own quest, finding Estelusia, Island of the Astrals. It was a fabled place at the end of the sky, where dreams are said to come true. Lyria and I? Not to mention our ever-growing crew, are still continuing our search. But someday... Someday we'll find it. And finally, the life link between us will... Huh? Where... am I? Oh, right. Lyria fell from a ship, then... Vern and I left after her. <laughs> you gotta wake up! Come on! Open your eyes! I said wake up! <sighs> you okay, buddy? Jeez, scared me half to death, you know. <sighs> Having that dream about Lyria again, 
Maybe you bumped your head on the way down. Uh, speaking of Lyria, I didn't see where she fell. She should be close. Let's search the area. Dang, this forest is huge. Don't get us lost, okay, pal? Everybody's worried sick. Wonder when we'll see him again. You find uh -huh. something? It might come in handy later. It looks like the path continues behind that ivy. Can you clear it? Uh, it's working! Now move on. Close call. I'd almost given up hope. Thank you for saving me. <laughs> We're just happy you're safe. Now, let's lose these trees and meet up with the crew. Now that I think about it, the first time we met was in a forest like this. I was thinking about that too. Back in Zinkensville, right? Yeah, we've sure come a long way, huh? I wonder how everybody back home's doing. Fern, is it just me or...? Yeah, that was Cat! Catalina! We're over here! Huh? Oh, I just heard Rackham! Rackham! We're over here! Fern, behind you! Huh? Get in position, people. We can take it out if we link our attacks. 
I do my best. What can I say? <laughs> Let's blast the twerking! Heads up, people! Uh, 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 and stone! I got a bad feeling about this. Uh, 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 really uh, angry. Now it's on! Go get him! Think it's running out of juice. A little more in the day's out. Forgive me for being late, Captain. Hope you saved some fun for me. Ooh, looks like everyone's no worse for wear. Oh, thanks for the save, Oigan. Lyria, about what happened with Bahamut. Do you have it under control now? Yes, I think I do. Uh, why did it flip out on us? I don't really know. Well, hanging out here isn't going to help. How about we head back to the Grand Cipher? I'm with Eo. Better get moving before more monsters get the munchie. In that case, maybe we should follow this trail instead. I have a feeling it leads to a nearby town. Doesn't that sound like the perfect place to learn more about Zega Grande? But what about the Grand Cipher? She's sitting pretty behind some cliffs past the forest. But that last tussle in the sky dinged her up a bit. Be great if we could grab repairs. Then it's settled. Into town we go. Huh, wonder if they got any plump, juicy apples. Oh, Vern, you're always thinking about food. <laughs> Look who's talking. Uh, my tummy always picks the worst time to growl. <laughs> you heard Lyria's stomach. Let's go find that town. Oh, wonder what kind of city it'll be. Can't wait to find out. Know what I'm wondering? How'd you guys fall from that high up without a scratch? It's a miracle. Good question. Maybe the canopy broke our fall. In any case, we got lucky. Hey, any skyfarer who tells you life ain't about luck is a liar in my book. Don't mind if I do. Look, I see building. <laughs> Seems like a pleasant place to unwind. Only one way to find out. Let's go. Check out the airships. Probably got a strong trade network going. Kinda reminds me of good old Port Breeze. We should look for a place where Lyria can rest. Me? 
But I feel fine. You've had a rough afternoon today. You shouldn't push yourself too hard. I know, but we're in a brand new town and I want to explore it with everyone. Well, Captain? Enjoy some time to yourselves, everyone! Yay! <laughs> Where do you guys get your energy from? <laughs> if Lyria's up for a little excursion, then I don't see the harm in it. In the meantime, I'll grab the Grand Cipher. Should be a dock around here somewhere. As for me, I'm hankering to try the local brews they got in these parts. We just got here and you already need a drink? What's with you geezers? What? I deserve a refreshing cocktail after a long hike. Ugh, you don't deserve anything. <laughs> You're all too much. Anyway, after exploring for a bit, let's meet back at that big building over there. Take a look around. I can't wait to explore. I love visiting new places for the first time. <laughs> I have to say, you're a real lifesaver. Well then, see you next time. It's always a pleasure. Ah, come again. Well, what do you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's Lyria! And the captain the boat! <laughs> you made it all the way to this skydom, too? Boy, you really do get around. You might just say I'm everywhere. Everywhere the cash flows. <laughs> <laughs> You must be the ones Chiero mentioned. Let me take a peek at your gear. I'm glad we know where to look if we need to sharpen our weapons. <laughs> you can say that again. Now, back to goofing off. You know, we've come along. Hmm. Hey, what you looking at? Yeah! <laughs> you dumb lizard! Don't sneak up on me like that! Ugh, for the millionth time, I ain't no lizard! So, what you doing, Neo? <sighs> Checking out the makeup selection. Ooh, that's so grown up. An elegant lady knows the importance of looking her best. I see. I still don't know anything about makeup. You're naturally pretty, but a dab here or there could bring out a whole new you. Really? Uh, I don't know if that's me at all. How about this? Next time, we'll do our faces together. With Rosetta's tutoring, of course. Aren't you curious how Lyria will look, Captain? Can't wait to see the new Lyria. Hush, I'll try not to disappoint anyone. Gee, what a selection. I don't know what most of this stuff is for. already uh... oh, hi captain enjoying yourself oh brother at least one of us is that's for sure come here let you in on a tip I heard word is there's a village that runs a mining operation on a nearby island it's got an altar dedicated to get this the primeval god. And when this god stirs up a wind, loads of ore gets exposed, ripe for the plucking. Then, this town takes those mined ores to make the finest jewelry. We'd be rich if we got in on the action somehow. You're catching my drift? Anyway, 
Gonna stay put and sniff around for more info. I'll let you know what I hear. See you later, Captain. One more for the road. <laughs> hey, so Rackham headed straight for the docks, huh? He takes such good care of the Grand Cipher. And I guess after everything... Huh. Airship of that size is a first for me. But I reckon I can handle her. Uh, sorry for pushing you guys. <laughs> Shucks, it ain't nothing. I'll leave this spot empty, so go ahead and fly her in. Thanks a million. I'll get right on it. Rackham, hi! Well, look who it is. I managed to find a place that can patch up the Grand Cipher. Just got done haggling with him. Um, I'm sorry the ship got hurt. That was my fault. Whoa, whoa, what are you talking about? You had nothing to do with it. But I... Look, it was a random accident. No one could have known our dragon friend would go all crazy. It's not your fault, Lyria. Yep, no one's blaming you. Captain knows best. So quit feeling guilty about it, okay? <sighs> okay. Thanks for cheering me up. There's that smile. Besides, we're in a new Skydom. Let's see some more enthusiasm, huh? Anyway, I'd better go move the Grand Cipher before anything happens to her. Go have fun. I got the ship covered. <sighs> Breeze feels almost welcoming. Like an old friend. Catalina training again. Guess old military habits die hard, huh? Hi, Catalina! What you doing? Thought I might get in some training. I once spent hours practicing my strikes. Oh, no wonder you're a master swordswoman. <laughs> Not yet, I'm afraid. Maybe I'm halfway there at best. You're no slouch either, buddy. But I wonder who's better, you or Catalina. I don't mean to brag, but... <laughs> it's hard to say at a glance, though it might be fun to cross swords sometime. <gasps> you mean like a sparring match? I wouldn't know who to root for. Then why not both? Oh, you're right! There's no rule that says I can only pick one side. Uh, Captain, before we proceed any further... I have just one thing. Make sure to check our mastery points from time to time. Battles may begin to feel tense if we don't sharpen our skills. Day and night. I mustn't fall behind our captain after all. What's Rosetta doing? <laughs> Hi, Rosetta. Nice of you to drop by, Lyria. Come to see my part of town? Actually, I wanted to ask you how I could help the crew. Is that so? Well, I'd say there's no need to stress out about it. But I want to be useful and do my share. Oh, dear. <laughs> I think you might be overthinking this. Still, isn't there something I can do? Let's see. Guidebooks are pretty useful. Ever thought about writing one? Write my own guidebook? Just jot down the fun things you've seen and done. Whatever you want to share with us. Better than complaining all the time. That's like the opposite of being helpful. You're right. Okay, I'll write the best guidebook ever. <laughs> I can't wait to read it. Such a refreshing breeze. If you're done looking around, we can start heading to the meetup spot a little early. The meetup spot was somewhere around here, right? Are you done looking around? Yeah, I think I've seen everything. Same. Let's take a quick break while we wait for the others. 
Look, it's the Grand Cypher. Oh, yeah. Rackham did say he'd bring her in for repairs. Can I tell you something? I heard what you did when I was falling off the ship. I felt so happy knowing you sprang to my rescue. We've been through a lot together. Visited new islands, met new people. It hasn't always been the safest trip, but you've always been there to protect me. I just wanted to say thank you. And since our lives are intertwined, let's make the most of our journey together. Yeah. <laughs> now my face feels a little hot. <laughs> That's so true. Hmm. Doesn't it smell nice? <laughs> sure does. <laughs> Sorry. Huh? Kept y'all waiting. Cypher's officially in the shop. Nice work. Hey. Thanks, Rackham. So, we've got time to burn, it seems. Anyone want uh, Almost forgot this. Mm -hmm. Hmm? You guys hear that? All right, I'm off. Pardon my rudeness. I, uh, don't do well with lizards. Hey! I ain't no lizard! It, it can talk? I do beg your pardon. We didn't mean to startle you. And we certainly don't intend on starting any trouble. Actually, we're a crew of humble skyfarers. This is Vern. I assure you, he means no harm. If anything, he's quite the lovable dragon once you get to know him. Uh, you've got it all wrong, Catalina. I'm a cool dragon. Huh. Skyfarers, you say? Oh, allow me to introduce myself. My name is... <laughs> Roland, you've got to help us. A tornado suddenly hit our village out of nowhere. A tornado? But something have angered Tempil's primal beast? Remain here in Folka. I'll handle the rest. My apologies. It seems I'm needed elsewhere, so I'm afraid this is farewell for now. Hey, wait! He sure ran off in a hurry. And I heard him say primal beast. We should follow him. There are still people stuck in Tempil! Oh, what do we do? What do we do? So the altar suddenly lit up, you know? And the wind was like a whoosh! And that primeval god is not happy. Slow down, take a few deep breaths, and tell me exactly what happened. Okay, okay. I'm calm. An altar, fierce winds, and what they call a primeval god. Sound familiar? Yeah, it does. Smells fishy. It's got to be connected to Bahamut going ballistic on us. <sighs> that guy with glasses knows something we don't. Want to see if we can tag along? He could lead us to a clue. What do you think, Captain? Uh, sounds an awful lot like a primal beast to me. Yep, which means there's only one way to handle this. 
Right then. I know what I have to do. Time to get moving. Um, excuse me. Ah, hello again. The situation is a bit out of hand, as you can see. If you need something from me, can it wait? I must leave town for a spell. Then I'll cut to the chase. Allow us to join you. Say that again? It seems you're in a predicament. Depending on the situation, we could be of help. I appreciate the offer, I really do, but... You mentioned a primal beast, right? If that's the problem, we want to lend a hand. We had our own snag as soon as we arrived in this skydom. Bet your round of drinks, whatever you're facing, has to do with us, too. Simply put, our goals are aligned. It takes two to tango, wouldn't you say? I don't know. Hmm. Though, more hands would certainly be welcome. Very well. I won't look a gift horse in the mouth. Yay! Anything can happen out there. You should get organized before we head out. Serious help fixing the tornado problem. Okay. The ship will depart shortly. Is everyone ready? Oh, wait, I got a tiny thing to take care of. Time is of the essence. Please make haste. The ship will depart shortly. Is everyone ready? Yep, we're good to go. Good. All aboard the airship. There's no time to waste. So, I bet you're wondering who I am. Mm -hmm. I work for the Church of Folka, mostly as a vicar. Call me Roland. I'm Catalina, protector of this crew. Name's Rackham. Cheers. And I'm Eo. Eugen here. Rosetta. You can call me Ver. I'm Lyria. Nice to meet you. And finally, this is our captain. Wow. I can't imagine captaining a crew at your age. <laughs> well, I'm not exactly a slouch myself. You see, I'm kind of a Mr. Fix-It, handling all the odd jobs after church. From furniture repair to marriage counseling, I can mend it all. Results guaranteed. When Roland's on the case, nothing is impossible! Uh, <laughs> uh, too dramatic, huh? Psst, this guy's a few apples short of a bushel. He'll hear you, dummy! Glad you're with us! High five, fix it, dude! Uh, dude? <laughs> Once again, my name is Roland. Yep! Heard you the first time. Cheers, fix it, dude. But it's rolling. Huh? <laughs> 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 We've got some time before we reach Tempeel, so would you mind checking on the others? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> yeah. 
She's not the most luxurious ship, but I assure you she's skyworthy. They form the archipelago, and one of them is home to Folka. So this other island we're flying to, will we be arriving soon? Yes, we'll be there shortly. I just hope the islanders are evacuating as we speak. You said we're going to Tempeel, right? What kind of place is it? It's a bustling mining village. All the rare metals they dig up put them on the map. What? Does anyone else see that? I mean, the wind around the island. You can actually see it. Huh, yeah. Why is it all weird? <laughs> the gales are reaching us from this distance? I suppose that confirms my suspicions. stabilize the ship. I'll set her down a bit farther from the mines. It's about to get bumpy. Everyone, grab onto something. Be more people here. Ah, Roland, we should talk. I see. The abnormal winds agitated the goblins, who in turn attacked the islanders. We managed to escape, but the others. I pray the worst hasn't befallen them. Try not to worry too much. Just leave everything to Mr. Fix It. Thank you. I'll go spread the word. That being said, I can't just leave these people here unprotected. What should I do? He needs our aid, Captain. Did somebody call for goblin exterminators? We'll handle the goblins. Are you sure? That'd certainly take a load off my shoulders. Talk about having the right crew for the job. Thanks a lot. I'll come find you after I get all these people aboard the airship. If you happen to see any more islanders out there, could you give them assistance? Yep, you got it. Oh, I almost forgot to give you this. If anything happens, we can communicate with each other using this device. We can talk on this thing? Looks like a flower glued to a box. It's a type of transceiver. It'll allow us to talk over long distances. Aren't transceivers expensive? Are you sure you want to give us one? Yep, don't worry. I didn't pay for it. Since I put it together myself. Ah, check this out. It even has a nifty light attachment. Why don't you turn it on, Fern, when you want to grab everyone's attention? Might come in handy. Nice. You got skills, fix it, dude. <sighs> it's rolling. Huh. Who'd have thunk you could make sweet gizmos like this? Thank you. We'll definitely make good use of it. Follow that road, and it'll take you to Tempio. Please help anyone you see. I'm counting on you. Move it, people! Devil time! Aha. This here is hallowed ground. A special aura keeps the monsters at bay. If you need to rest, find this crystal. You can even stock up on supplies and fix up your weapons. Come in, come in, this is Roland. Can 
Can anyone hear me? It sounds a bit noisy on your end. Yeah, we're busy rescuing islanders from Slash Happy Goblin. What? Are the people okay? They've taken a number of hostages, but it won't stay that way for long. Please, do everything you can to free them. No kidding. Great. I won't Close fail up, you. You're in my Cut sight. Down. Hey, nice. Somebody's gotta I hold it down. Reinforcements! Keep, keep your heads on a swivel! Paying off, Captain. Hit them now! Got him! Just like we practiced. Of course. What did you expect? Gotta keep it up! Follow me! Got it! You catch There. That's the last of them. Now to set the captured people free! Glad everyone's safe and sound. What would we have done without your crew? Skyfarers or something else? Thank you so much, everyone. But more settlements could be under attack. Better keep going. We gotta check on those people. Are the erratic winds causing the goblins to act violently? That's a big problem, if true. Goblins don't usually go berserk like average monsters. Hmm. Doesn't this island remind you of Port Breeze? That's when we met Rathen? Oh, yeah. That's when he convinced us to be an official crew. I bet he was dying to join you guys. Where else would you find cooler crewmates? How would you know? He joined us to me. to get our feet wet. Mind where you step, everyone. I'm moving as fast as I can. Keep those goblins occupied. We will, Roland. We just focus on flying. Yes, but never mind. You're right. I'll put my trust in you, Skyfair. Oh, great. They know how to shoot fire. They'll need time to reload. That's when we charge. Hey, that was some night... Everyone's okay. Quickly, get on board. Don't worry, you're in good hands now. Oh, 
Thanks. I was so scared. You did a great job holding out. <laughs> what a show! I'm so pumped up right now! Uh, maybe I healed him a little too much. You did it! You saved everyone! Thank you! Oh no! The windmills have come under attack! But next destination is the windmill! Roger, Dodger. We'll lock it down. Looks like the goblin has hostages. We're on it. Don't even burn that big window. Oh yeah. One more group accounted for. Don't get carried if I worry you. I'm sorry. Get in the circle. You're safe now. Hurry to the ship. Thank goodness. Don't give up, okay? I'm alive. You're going to be fine. Can you walk, miss? Thank you, thank you, thank you! Those poor folk are safe thanks to you. Great job, everyone. <laughs> All the day's work. Now, we should return to our search. Huh? Heavens help us. There are others who haven't made it out yet. Oh no, this is awful. You have to rescue them. I'll lead the way. I pray we're not too late. We made it, Roland. About to start fumigating the place. Oh, thanks, buddy. Put my mind at ease. Buddy? Seriously? I'm at least five years older than you. You wouldn't believe how old I am. Would you make me old? <laughs> my lips are sealed. Keep cover fire. We're almost there. Push through. Here goes nothing! Let's! Tempest Blade! Ah! I'll protect you! Blades of Frost! Prepare the first song! Air detonation! Brothers or something? <laughs> they should have said more than a trio. You have my place. Not quite. Only one left. You got this. Now I'm the one in your debt, Lyria. Finish. Really had our work cut out for us, huh? I just hope the Islanders are safe and sound. Are you here to save us? Just who are you guys? We're traveling Skyfarers, and we're here to rescue you. Chin up, everyone. Everything's going to be all right. Wait, was that Roland? Guess we really are saved. Let's quickly get you aboard Roland's ship. No, wait! Listen to me! We fled from the Goblin Fortress that lies deep in the nearby ruins. But our friends are still in there, and they can't make it out on their own. What's the call?
Let's get those people out of there. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. Come in, fix it, dude. Roll in here. What can roll in do for you? We're gonna break some people out of some goblin fortress. So take care of things here. Got it. I know this isn't what you signed up for, but just be careful in there. Will do! Who's ready to do this? That sounded like a kid. Hurry. Maybe we could use this. Is this like a coliseum? This place is crawling with goblins. But it doesn't seem like they want to scuff. No, run! Get out while you still can! That doesn't sound good. with that shield. That copper charges like a wild boar. But I reckon we can outmaneuver it. This is rolling. That's your static. Roger that. I'm on my way. Hold it up until I arrive. Ashes to ashes. And dust to dust. I know. Ashes to ashes. And just to dust. Keep it up. Yeah. This is where the real battle starts. Hello? Is everyone all right? What happened to the hostages in the fortress? Everyone's fine. They just need to rest. Stay still! Ow! Ow! Yeah. <sighs> We're alive. Oh, what a relief. I can't thank you all enough. So, what do you guys say to meeting the blowhard stirring up this storm? Wait, what are you talking about, Rackham? Told you before we left Folka, remember? The problem with a primal is our problem, too. I don't know about this. Maybe it's best to leave well enough alone. But if we don't calm down the primal beast... The situation on the island is only going to get worse. I hear what you're saying, but... Think of the Islander's safety. Captain's right. These winds spelled trouble for the entire archipelago. You ought to fly the Islanders back to Folka before it gets out of hand. Okay, fair point. I'll trust your judgment and get these poor souls to safety. But 
If it gets risky, there's no shame in retreat. I still owe you a reward. <laughs> you don't have to tell us twice. Thanks for the concern. Sit tight. The least I can do is drop you off a little closer. <laughs> Reminds you of our showdown with Tiamat, doesn't it? I was wondering why this felt so familiar. Good luck, and stay safe! Are you hurt? No. I think. Ha! Altars above us, huh? Hope we've all got our hiking boots on. Ha-ha! Haven't we get through enough of this already? Looks like the only way left is up. Either we move it or lose it, folks. Oh, poor thing. Stuck in a ceaseless rampage. Suffering a big deal.
Rampaging primals before. We'll just have to do it again. Right. We'll chip away at its defenses until Lyria is able to absorb its power. We'll just have to hold them off until Lyria's hot sense into it. Be on your toes. see that ship? Ruby red for the hull? Sticks out like a sore thumb, don't it? What's... <laughs> 
primal beast is being absorbed. But it doesn't. It's not Lyria's doing. Hey. Lyria! What's wrong? It wasn't me. I didn't. I couldn't stop it. <laughs> No friends of ours, I'd wager. Hmm. Now they look like a fun bunch to tangle with. Do not deviate from the mission. We are simply here for a meet and greet. And you are? We've been waiting for you, Shaman of Salvation. Now, would you be so kind as to join us? <laughs> If you value your life, you'll leave us alone! Oh, fancy a challenge, huh? Fine, have it your way. I'll end this in 90 seconds. Some weird bugs here. Yeah. 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 Get behind my shield! Yeah. 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 Oh, shaman of salvation, 
Long have we waited for this day. What? Shaman? Me? How uncanny. So much in common with the blue butterfly and Seed Hollow's energy. Oh, my apologies. You must be bewildered by this disrespectful treatment. I... Who the heck are you? And what do you want from us? Oh. How rude of me. You may call me Lilith. They, the Pilgrims of Avia. I, their shepherd. And I will not rest. Not until we open the path to Utopia. Esther Lucia. Utopia? Wait, you just said Esther Lucia, but that's the same place we're headed. Ah, truly? Our goals eclipse one another. Then I needn't prattle on. This meeting has proven quite serendipitous. I promise to take care of everything. Now, dear Sean, prepare yourself for glory, for a grand pilgrimage awaits us. We shall pave a new path to Estelucia. I don't think so! You don't get to make the rules on my watch! You fuckface! If... You are unworthy. beside herself. Hmm. 
We can't afford to stop. We have to save Lyria. Whoa, try to cool down there, Kat. But I promised her. I promised her I would show her the outside world, no matter the danger. What if I can't protect her? What if I can't get her back? I refuse to break my vow. We know how you feel, but we can't jump the gun here, not without knowing more. Yeah, that guy was tough. We need a plan. Otherwise, he'll just mop the floor with us again. No. <gasps> Captain! Glad you're back on your feet. You scared the hell out of us. I'm sorry, Captain. I wasn't strong enough to protect Lyria. Good news, folks! I got a lead on those ruffians who ambushed you! Really? Where did they take her? Tell me right now or else. Jeepers! Calm down, Catalina. Is that any way to say thanks for the help? Uh, of course. Sorry. It's quite all right. I know exactly how you feel, Catalina. With all you did for us, it's only fair that I do my part to help you. Besides, looking into the Church of Avia was fairly simple. A church? They did call themselves pilgrims. Oh! How are you feeling, Captain? Never mind me. Where'd Avia go? Yes, well, uh, about that. It seems like they're taking Lyria to Latanya Island. Where's that? Fret not. I'll show you the way myself. Whoa, slow down, champ. First of all, we're Skyfarers. We can't be babysitting. See, we've severely underestimated you, Roland. <laughs> Look, the Church of Avia grows bolder by the day. They used force in Tempil and abducted Lyria, an innocent traveler. I cannot sit idly by and allow such deeds to go unpunished. I'm quite capable of handling myself in a fight, and will do my best to aid you. If I may? Every Skydom's got a bad bunch. If you're offering to help us with them, I won't say no. Hmm. Now, uh, about your ship. You know, the really big blue one? The Grand Cipher. Yes, that's it. The repairs on the Grand Cipher will soon be completed. I did a little work on it myself, and just wait until you see what I... installed. You what? No! Oh, silly me! I must have been rambling about something else. Moving right along. I took the liberty of procuring a new weapon and some armor for you, Captain. Your current gear has certainly seen better days, after all. Sweet! That's real nice of ya! I hate to imagine Folka's fate if your crew hadn't shown up when it did. These small tokens of appreciation are hardly enough to convey our gratitude. <laughs> well, thanks all the same, Fix-It Dude. It's Roland. We're grateful for all you've done, Roland. Let's get a move on. Sure. Let me pack my things and I'll meet you by the dock. See you soon. Lilith. Enough is enough.
will find her, okay? Catalina, Lyria's kidnapping has hit her extra hard. <sighs> we'll save her, no matter what. Of course. I don't care how strong they are. I'm not... We're not giving up. Look. Lyria's grown so much since she met you. Almost every night, she would come and tell me about her day, and all the new things she experienced with you and the crew. And each time, I was more and more glad we all found ourselves on this journey together. I won't let it end here. I promised Lyria that we'd see the world. That we'd see the end of the skies. So I swear, we'll get her back. Together, as a crew. Lyria. I hope Eugen's not beating himself up too much. Hey, Captain. Can you ever forgive me? For what? Sorry, but I gotta apologize. See, I had a bad feeling the second I saw that red ship. When you've been through as much as I have, you develop a sixth sense for danger. But I still ignored the warning bells. Damn it all. So much for calling myself a guardian can't protect a damn thing. Well, I ain't giving up on Lyria. I'm bringing her home, and nothing's gonna stop me. Oh, they'll pay. I'll show them what an old vet can do. Wow. Despite it all, Eo seems determined. Hey, Captain. Say... You remember the promise I made with Lyria? We were gonna ask Rosetta to teach us how to put on makeup. I wonder if Lyria's crying right now. It must be scary being alone. <sighs> I can't stand it! We have to save her! Lyria... Pardon me. I heard what happened with Lyria. I'm not much use in a fight myself, but maybe I can help in my own small way. Please, take this. Rackham looks ready to take off the second we say go. You don't think they're gonna do anything to her, do you, Captain? I hope not. Uh, I don't think they want to actually hurt her. Not from what I saw. Good thing we know where that red ship is going. Grand Cypher will hunt it down in no time. But once we catch him, those punks are gonna pay for what they did. They can run, but they can't fly from the Grand Cypher. Not while I'm helmsman. Rosetta's lost in thought. I wonder what she's thinking. Tell me, Captain. How are you feeling today? Huh. I'm pretty good, actually. Ah, I see. I like that confidence. Thankfully, it looks like you've healed up just fine. But we can't wait around any longer. Our princess awaits her rescue. It's going to work out. We promised to meet up with Fix-It Dude. Let's head for the dock. Yes. Oh. <sighs> wow. 
Are you all ready for takeoff? I can leave at a moment's notice. Prepped and ready. Excellent. Then let's cast off. Awesome! The deck looks good as new! What in blue blazes is this? Like what you see? It's the latest in ether cannon technology. You did this? That thing looks like a recipe for disaster. You bet it is. See, a merchant I know's been asking me to test it out. This flagship model employs ethereal mechanics to increase range, accuracy, velocity. <laughs> Never took Roland for a weapons maniac. By the way, Captain, how is the lifelink between you and Lyria holding up? Hmm. It seems okay. Yeah, I think so too. So basically... And since they share the same life force, a healthy captain means a healthy Lyria. Isn't that right? Considering they called her a shaman, I doubt they're out to harm her. You're yanking my chain. That's incredible. See? I had the exact same reaction. Gosh, you guys are such dorks. I take back what I said. These ether cannons are pure magic. <laughs> it seems Roland has quite the silver tongue. Next stop, Lotania Island. Our target is Avia's flagship, the Ameritat. Let's go rescue Lyria. Hey, fix it, dude. Who died and made you captain? That's Roland to you. on our side. The Grand Cypher should get us there in no time. The Church of Avia, claiming Lyria was some kind of shaman of salvation, had ripped her away from us. We had no idea what they were after, much less what they had in store for Zega Grande. The most we could speculate? There had to be a connection between Avia's appearance and the incidents with Bahamut and Furikin. At the very least, Roland had an idea of where they were taking Lyria. Latanya Island. Ha! Ah, got eyes on him! Good luck trying to outrun the Grand Cypher! Anything for salvation. What the heck? You don't think no one's rude and cared without a unified attack? You like that? Out of our way! Reinforcements to the right! Man, so relentless. Hold them off! They're tough! Troops! Form up! Oh yeah! You don't even think! 
think about coming back. No, wait. Listen. Uh, well, that's not fair. We knew they were armed, but why does a church have this much firepower? Oh, this is bad. They're shooting at us. Oh, boy. At this rate, we'll be blown to pieces. The ether cannons are our only hope. Use them to return fire. Whoa, what's that up? Oh, yeah! They felt that one! Cannon overheated. You can fire again after it cools down a bit. Here comes more of them! Fire! Fire! How'd you like them, Apple? They're trying to ram us. Get us out of here, Roland! Too late! They're already here! I don't understand. Why is this church acting so aggressively? With the ether cannons out of commission. You'll have to fight in close quarters. Ready, buddy? Let's get wild in here. No more taking pot shots at the Grand Cypher for you. Now the port guns are down. Now! You can finish it off. Can you disable their ship? Like, knock out the power? Then, uh, we'll have to sabotage its power regulator. Cypher in half if you don't do something. Then we'll have to destroy them. Come on, everyone. Step back from the grapnels. They actually destroyed one. We've lost the tactical anchor. Requesting backup from ship three. I knew you could do it. Destroy the other and we're free. Trigger finger, is it? Dragon Lane! Go back! Go! Damn, they're tough! Operation failed! I repeat, operation has failed! Fantastic work, everyone! That was exceptional! How's the ship? Can she still fly? Sure can. Yeah, that's the <sighs> I wish I had a ship as amazing as yours. Now, to put her to the test. That dang red ship zoomed into the cloud! We'll lose some visibility in there. Stay on your toes. Popular. Don't tell me. We flew right into an ambush. I've had enough. Hey, Oigan, cannons up yet? I think we're good. Let's say hi with a bang. The 
show them we mean business with some cannon. We've come way too far to get shot down now. some frightening firepower. I'm glad you're on my team. What can we say? Those bozos weren't even a challenge. All right, now to catch that ship. It's showtime, folks. Silver Wolf Corps, and strongest in the land. You bastard! Watch where you stick that thing. Who cares about a dumb pile of wood? You see, all that matters. <laughs> is the last man standing? <laughs> At least give me a challenge! Oh, you dumb blockhead! We were so close till you showed up! <laughs> Impressive! No one's ever made such short work of my unit before! I want answers, and you're going to give them to me! Why did you kidnap Furia? Why, you ask? Because I live to test my might against the strong! <laughs> this is going to be fun! That's a dumb excuse. I can't stand guys like him. That was great! Whatever tactics you want against me. As long as they're not. 
that you've had quite enough entertainment. Huh? Another one? <clears throat> I haven't had a worthy fight in ages. I won't retreat. Really, you speak like a beast with more impulse than sense. If you're lying on the ground bereft of life, how will you explain yourself to Our Lady? <clears throat> Point taken. I could use a nice nap. But as for you, <laughs> the next time we meet face to face, only one of us will walk away. It'll be glorious! Dark. She has quite the talent. Yet another foe to keep in mind. Roland, what of the red ship? Don't you worry. I've got eyes on it. They're flying towards Mount Nagelith and... Whoa! <laughs> Old girl's taking too much damage. Hope she don't fall. Damn it! Just gave her a tune-up, too. Don't let us down, Grand Cypher. Snowstorm? Whatever. It's not gonna stop us from finding Lyria. We chase after the red ship, straining to see through the flurries of snow. Latanya Island. Home to frosty mountains, treacherous ravines, and desolate tundra. Out here, it's just white, white, and more white. The ship shivers in the blasts of icy wind. This place has got just one message for us. Keep out. those cliffs. Ride's gonna get a little bumpy. Roland, a word, please. 
I saw a light in the distance before the storm hit. It was like the one in Tempeel. If that light is what I think it is... You guessed right. It's where we'll find the island's altar. And Avia. So they aim to drive another primal beast to insanity? Be that as it may, Lyria is waiting for us. Now is not the time to speculate. Look, I know we gotta go, but the ship's hurting. We won't get far without repairs. With a blizzard like this, all we can do is wait till it dies down. We can't wait any longer. Hmm. There may be hope yet with a crew of your talents. Do you have a plan, Roland? There's an old monastery nearby. I plan to meet a friend by the Sanctum. With her leading the way, you'll arrive at the altar come rain, sleet, or snow. Then she's our only chance! Come on! The trails are infested with monsters. But after seeing your handiwork, I'm sure we have nothing to worry about. Oh, I'm not worried about that. Thing is, I can't leave the Grand Cipher unguarded. Then permit me to repair her in your stead. She'll be ready to fly in no time. Look, it's not that I don't trust you. Don't judge a book by its cover. I'm Mr. Fix-It, remember? Repairs are my specialty. But he might be our only chance. Look, I get it. Old gal's just been through a lot. It's hard for me to let go. You're such a crybaby, Rackham. You still can't leave the Grand Cipher's nest. Oh, give me a break. Seriously, it ain't like that. Roland, can I trust you with the Grand Cipher? <laughs> On my honor, I'll do everything in my power to patch her up. Okay, gang. Let's get going before we turn into popsicles. Lyria needs us! The monastery should be this way. It's a little chilly, but we'll pull through. Yeah, skeletons! Frozen skeletons! Dolliest pack of snow skulls I've ever seen! Don't let them surround us! Think before smashing those ice pillars! All that weight could crush you! We have little choice. Well, we mustn't keep them waiting. Good day, travelers. Although I bear no grudge against any of you, it would certainly behoove you to abandon your quest. I do beg your pardon. Milady, you were strictly ordered not to kill them. They went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Galanza and survived. This will merely slow them down a bit. But do keep a close eye on them. Ma'am. Now then, the Mountain considers your party to be uninvited guests. One wonders if Mother Nature will forgive this intrusion. Hey! Still alive? That's it. I'm headed up to here with gravity. Stop. Nobody move. Copy? 
Those Avia jokesters intercepted us. Now we're at the bottom of some valley, fighting for our lives. My guess is signal doesn't stretch all the way down. We're on our own for this one. Buckle up. It's You soar high, Captain. There's more where that came from. Shame we couldn't see eye to eye. Oh well. R.I.P., buddy. Ugh, that's it. No more puns this entire trip. I've been thinking. What does the Church of Avia want with Lyria anyway? Their leader, Lilith, said her goal was to reach Estelusia. She must have caught on to Lyria's unique. Valuable abilities. Whatever the reason, those tyrants abducted her, but won't let them off light. Oh, great. Even more. Keep your eyes open. Monsters to be hiding beneath the snow. Little present for you. Looks like no one's home. Whoa. Did they need a door this big? Wait. What's that sound? Did they follow us here? With the blizzard picking up outside, we have no choice but to fight them off. All support! Bullseye, baby! Sure thing! Let's keep it up! Right! Let's move on! Come on! I'll take the blade! Got eyes on him! Stuck the landing on that one! You have my blade whenever you need it! Never take it, lad! Look her off! Cut them down! Hell of a warm-up, huh? Oh, the fun's just beginning! They're coming like this! Gotta get real on We'll never oh, back down. Traveling Skyfarers. I am Historia, overseer of Malo's monastery. Thank you for your assistance. You must be Roland's acquaintance. Indeed, I am. Did anyone from the Church of Avia come this way? Maybe a flashy red ship? Yes, and they've already disturbed the altar ahead. The primeval god it honors is most displeased. 
then there really is a primal beast here as well. The god's anger manifests as a blistering white storm. I seek to quell its rage. Well, we're after those jerks that caused it. Maybe we could go together. The road forward is a sacred one, sealed to all but me. However, it is no place for outsiders. Lyria's our friend! She means a lot to us! Please, let us come with you! Hmm... away with or without you you exhibit great courage despite your youth Roland was right to trust you yes that fire in your eyes speaks of great tenacity an unquenchable resolve very well do as you like. Yes! Uh, thank you. But be warned. Sacred grounds are not immune to the taint of malice. Do keep up. We won't hold you back. Lead the way. Oh, primeval god of Belfrost Dominion, bestow thy grace and guide us past the door of seclusion. I'm no stranger to ice-based spells, but this is something else entirely. Oh, primeval god of Belfrost's dominion, bestow thy grace and guide us past the door of seclusion. Found the welcome squad. I don't know how they're kicking when it's sub-zero. If my incantation is interrupted, the sigils will cease forming. It demands my fullest attention. Can you keep the rabble occupied? Understood. We'll protect you while you work your magic. Take that! Showtime! story has a regular monster magnet, ain't she? Perhaps they find her intense magical capacity. Oh. All the more reason to stay focused. Come what may, we stand guard! Oh, you're in for it. I'm pulling for you. Almost ready. I like what you see. Nice work. Let's move. Apologies for my earlier incivility. Your skill is unquestionable. <laughs> Wait till you see me get serious. I expect to be impressed. The drive to save a loved one never ceases to amaze me. Hmm? <laughs> Tis nothing. Maybe we could use this. The blizzard stopped. An ill omen. We must hurry. That's one sturdy looking door. But no match for me. Oh, primeval god of Belfrost's dominion, bestow thy grace and guide us past the door of seclusion. Hey! Tin here and looking for action! Keep your eyes on that one. It's deadlier than the rest. Protect his door!
Over. It would be a shame to stop now. <sighs> At long last, the altar lies ahead. <laughs> Reveal our path! Huh? Is it that Lyria? Another foe. Historia! You knave! What did you do to Lyria? Answer! I wouldn't interfere if I were you. Protect us. Lyria is us. Why did you kidnap Lyria? Oh, now he's got nothing to say. I don't like it, but we have ways of making him talk. You will pay dearly! Is that it? It's over! Does this guy eat steel for breakfast? He's strong as hell! First Alonza, now this dude. Where does Avia find these monsters? His name is Id, one of Avia's top three. Said to be the Skydom's strongest. No wonder he's so tough. But why would a man of his ferocity obey the church? He may be Lilith's son. Details are statement, but it would explain much. Think she's his little child, huh? Support mom and great and all, but think to yourself, man. Miriam isn't acting like himself either. We must get to her. That's too good. They get a clean hit on him. Oh, time's up. Do it, Lyria. Sprint forth. Wolf of icy mist. Nana armor. Remain unquelled. The sun will never kiss these skies again. Oh, my magic shall be with you. Thanks, Historia. We can take it from here. We didn't come this far to lose Lyria now. Treat this suffer. Dipping around like light. Can't get crosshairs on it. Oh, it's movement. That horn will skewer you like a pig on a spit. <laughs> Back to it! Oh, you're speedy, right? Huh? Too bad you can't 
run my magic. Is anyone there? It's only temporary, but I fixed up the ship to get her flying again. Oh, goody. You don't sound very happy. Did something happen? Lyria, she... Uh, hang in there. I'll come grab you guys ASAP. <sighs> Captain... That's a bitter pill to swallow. It was a pitiful outcome, despite my presence. No, even I assumed they wouldn't control primal... I mean, the primeval gods. And there's the matter of Lyria's odd behavior. Her eyes were empty, as if her soul were caged. What's more, the blue choker she wore did not sit right with me. A blue choker? Like a collar around her neck? Could it be... Could it be what, Roland? Is it a clue? Uh, possibly. Just a story I heard a while back. If uh, rumors are to be believed, the Church of Avia has been toying with a forbidden implement. Uh, what now? The Mind Sealer. A tool that binds one's will, leaving them open to manipulation. Given its inhumane nature, the use of such an artifact was supposedly banned. Ugh, if those buttheads are using something like that, then they're worse than trash! Hmm. Couldn't we just smash the cursed thing to pieces? I don't advise using force to break it. That would put Lyria's life in danger. Eh, I figured it wouldn't be that easy. What about nullifying its influence? I have a connection in Seed Hollow who knows his curios. I bet he could tell us more. You intend to ask the family Zothba? Informants don't cooperate without a price. Hey, deep down he's got a heart of gold. It'll work out. Wishful thinking. Thanks again, Roland. We'd be up the creek without you. 
always glad to help. Remember, when Mr. Fixit's on the case, nothing is impossible. <laughs> got that right. Fixing our airship while it's stuck on a freezing mountain? Wow. Alas, I merely applied bandages. What she really needs is servicing in Seed Hollow. And on that note, I say we take to the skies. I'll show you the way. I'm as worried about Lyria as anyone, but this ship needs a serious tune-up. We finally caught up to Lyria, but her eyes had lost their spark. When I called her name, she didn't respond. She didn't hear me. The Lyria we know and love? It's like she wasn't in there anymore. What is Avia plotting? With so many mysteries left unsolved, I get the feeling this is just the beginning. But for now, we need to dig up info on this mind sealer thing. We flew through the night without ever stopping. I can see our next island, hugged by dawn's warming light. Call that amber glow false hope, but I'll take it. Welcome. This is Sega Grande Skydom's largest city, Seed Hollow. Hmm? <sighs> Whew. Good news is the Grand Cipher's gonna be okay. She's in good hands. Luckily, the ship escaped severe damage. Should be a quick fix. Sorry to keep piling stuff on you. Appreciate it, buddy. So about this family Zotba or whatever, you know where to find them? I sure do. Their boss supposedly operates in this district. Information brokers don't exactly advertise to the public. He runs a bar as a front. Sounds like you've got his stuff together. I guess you'll find out for yourself when you meet him. Follow me. Let's start by heading to the main square. The bar should be in a back alley somewhere. Huh. Guess that's one way to design a ship. Always cool to see how other places build their other rides. districts. I'd love to give a grand tour, but... No biggie. Besides, sightseeing will be a lot more fun when Lyria's back with us. Very true. I'd better start brushing up on my tour guide Maybe skills. Maybe we could use this. Man, this sucks. <laughs> totally. So much freaking work to do. Hmm? Say, uh, don't you two work for Zothba? Who's asking? Ah, snap, it's rolling. Where you been hiding, man? Thanks for always looking out for the boss. No, no, quite the opposite. Zothba has always been the one bailing me out. That info on Avia was spot on. <clears throat> But enough about that. It looks like you gentlemen are in a bit of a pickle. A pickle? Nah, man. We're swamped with work right now. Everyone in the family's fully booked. So, if you got biz with the boss, could you maybe go chill and come back later? Huh. I get 
you're busy, but we're also on the clock here. So what I'm hearing is, once these errands of yours are cleared out, that'll open up Zothba's schedule. Is that right? More or less. Not like our mountain of work is gonna get smaller anytime soon, though. Got it. Captain, what do you say to lending these fine fellows a hand? Anything to help Lyria. Right! We need info. And if it takes a little elbow grease, then let's grease it up. There you go. Meet your newest co-workers. And not just any co-workers. These Skyfarers have an impressive resume. For real? Awesome. Thanks. We appreciate it. And for starters, you think you could check in with a buddy of ours? He should be at the market. Yo, I got the word. Ready to roll up your sleeves? Here's the deal. Some bigwig lost something in the city. Something really dangerous. I, uh, can't handle it myself without my legs turning into jelly. Talked with an alliance rep. I, uh, left the details with them. Looking for something dangerous? Oh, you must mean that. Mm, yeah. I know a few folks that might be able to help you out. I'll write down what they look like. Go see what they have to say. Looking for something a magnet lost. Huh. That could only be one thing. Yep, no doubt about it. If it's what I think it is, you'll find it in an alley. Why can't you just tell us what it is? Oh, whatever. Let's move on to the next person. Yes. Zothba's people have you looking for a dangerous thing? Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, I guess you could call it dangerous. Try looking in places with shade, but be careful. Never know what might jump out at you. Wait, so the thing is alive? <sighs> this is making my beard bristle. above skies the heavens have anointed me as their beacon raise your eyes to the blue that which you seek may come from above these are eyes to the blue um what are you talking about look in the shade above our heads down an alley is that what they're telling us maybe guess it's time to start crawling the back streets of seed hollow <laughs> Don't tell me that's the dangerous thing we've been looking for. It's just a cat. Gee, how dangerous can it be? Come on, let's get it home. The client is over the moon. <laughs> Glad that's over with. You could have just told us you can't stand cats. <laughs> when I was a kid, I got scratched by one. It left a scar on my body and my psyche. Ah, but you don't want to hear about that. Thanks again. Can't believe we went on a wild cat chase. Why would the family's Zafa bother with boring jobs? 
I believe being a good information broker means having a finger in every pie, uh, so to speak. In any case, we're making good progress. On to the next task. Spruce up your home with some new color. It'll lend a hand? Couldn't have come at a better time. We're assessing the castle's manpower, but it's not like the guards will volunteer to take a survey. I hate to use the term eavesdrop, but we're short on ears. If you see any castle guards, could you listen in? Out of sight and without getting caught, obviously. Remember, keep it hush hush. Is there anywhere we can hide? Let's camp out here. So my granddad said the craziest thing the other day. Well, don't leave me hanging. You know the Corridor of Peace? Know why they really call it that? No, why? It's to honor an astral who once saved us sky dwellers. <laughs> That's a good one. What a joke. That's what I said. They were the ones who conquered us. A compassionate astral. <laughs> Can you imagine? Now that story I'd like to hear more about. Unfortunately, it has nothing to do with our task. Remember, keep it hush-hush. Is there anywhere we can hide? This spot looks good for spying. Heard the news? Yeah. They raised the threat level for the Skydom. They keep sending reinforcements to Tempeel and other islands. Castle defenses will be stretched thin. It's taking a toll on the public safety team, too. The Church of Avia has been popping up everywhere. At least we're safe here. Don't have to worry about Seed Hollow getting invaded. Just hope I don't get shipped out. Mobilizing soldiers out of Seed Hollow is sapping the castle's defenses. People might get edgy if this leaks. Don't mind if I do. Okay, so... Remember, keep it hush-hush. Is there anywhere we can think we can hide here? I know what I saw. That Harvin was wearing white robes. Matched what was described in the intel report to a T. They say that uniform stole out to one of the deadliest groups in Avia. Obviously, the Silver Wolf Corps is also nothing to sneeze at, but this group uses strange techniques. Uh, I should have arrested that Harvin. What if they've already infiltrated the city? Avia may have already infiltrated Seed Hollow? That's bad news, but good to know. I think we've heard enough. Let's go report this in. Those two? How'd it go? I see. I guess we'd better offer some resources to bolster the castle's defenses. By the way, didn't you say something about needing to see the boss? He should be in by now. Why don't you head for the bar? This awesome guy sure likes to dip his talons in everything, huh? Yes. Thanks to him and his informants, the city's managed to stay relatively peaceful. But I'm going to do him one better and protect every single dweller in these skies. Really? Are you sure you're not biting off more than you can chew? Oh, was that too much? Anyway, time to hit the bar. It's finally time to meet the legend himself. From what I've seen with his underlings, he runs a tight ship. Yep. That's luck. Everyone, meet Zafba. Mm. Hmm. A 
That's some jam. Yeah, I was hoping you could help. Let's talk business. You didn't let me finish. We aren't a charity. Selling info is how we don't starve. And the juicier the intel, the tastier our meals. You want a seat at the table? You gotta bring the bread. Know what I'm saying? So, how much will it cost? Avia exposes us to huge risk. At the friend discount, you're looking at... Seven mil. Seven million rupees? That's enough to purchase several airships. We settle our payments up front. But I wager your wallets are a little bit light at the moment. How about a proposal? You scratch my back, and I'll scratch yours. We really don't have time for this. <laughs> don't pass on a deal till you've heard every last detail. We've already looked into the mind sealer around your friend's neck. A catalyst stone that'll cancel the magic sleeps in some ruins on Dolly Island. Are you absolutely certain? Let me guess. You're giving us the scoop because you want something in return. <laughs> Man knows how to cut to the chase. All you resourceful folks have to do is break the seal on those ruins. It just so happens there's hidden treasure in there we'd love to get our hands on. And those are the conditions. Not a bad deal, if you ask me. Yep. We both get what we want. Seems fair enough. At this point, I think any lead is worth investigating. The choice is yours, Captain. I'll be waiting at the port. Come see me when you've got your answer. Mr. Shade back there was no ordinary dude. I think you painted a different picture of the guy, Roland. <laughs> uh, well, he's... Very passionate about his work, yes. We didn't come here to dig up treasure for someone else. I know it's not the most direct way to get to Lyria, but it's better than nothing. Why did it have to be Dolly Island, though? Not to mention breaking the seal on the ruins. But if we don't take that risk... Hi, everyone! I dare good tidings. Thoughtful wanted to thank you for your hard work. Something about finding hot gossip and shady cats? Bearing work sure is something else. <laughs> Enjoy your gift! The fruit in the market looks so good. Too bad it'll have to wait for another day. Yeah. Who knows when we'll find the time to kick back and relax. I'm sure Lyria will fall in love with this beautiful city. It's gonna be great showing her around. They don't got all day. Are we doing this or not? Pleasure working with you. Good. Neither of us wants a fine business opportunity to slip through our fingers. <laughs> um, hey. This is out of the blue, but I might have some personal things to tend to. Oh, say what? You're gonna flake on us? While you check the ruins, I'll look for the red ship. It'll be more efficient. I appreciate the thought, but should you go after them alone? There's no need to worry about me. I promise. I always finish what I start. <sighs> Thank you, Roland. We owe you so much. Take care of them, Zothba. Are you telling me how to do my job? Who's wearing the informant pants here? Oh, <laughs> you, you got me there. What was I thinking? Oh, but at least take this. Well, well. A transceiver. I made it with my own two hands. I'd like it back when this is over. <laughs> Better hope it doesn't fall apart on me, then. 
Now, as a small bonus, our family's pride and joy will fly you to Dolly in style. Be careful out there, everyone. <laughs> Oh, before you ask, this ride's free. Make it worth my while, Skyfarers. Dolly Island. That's where we're going to find the Catalyst Stone to free Lyria from the Mind Sealer. This is our last thread of hope. And nothing's gonna make us let go. Not even a waking nightmare. It's okay. Come, the stars await, and we mustn't keep them. You were tossing. Do you feel all right? And how are you feeling? I feel fine. Why ask me such a question? I... I found it. Another god. As we fly closer to the main island, an ocean of sand seems to stretch on forever. Large ruins break the surface like icebergs. It's time to start digging through the past, because in one of those tombs lies the catalyst to our future. to a goose day. There's no way to stop sliding. Just try to maintain your balance. <laughs> I see you found the golden carpet. The desert rolls out for its death. <laughs> Enjoy the slide. What does that mean? Did you set a trap for us? What would I gain from that? Don't worry. You'll be fine. <laughs> You're the last person I trust. Trust or not, all we can do is slide. We're just gonna have to play it by ear. Got guts. That shortcut's known for being, um, lethal. Don't screw with us. The floor gave out and you know it. Well, whatever the circumstances, it saved you time. And that's worth celebrating. Good business is all about efficiency. I mean, you're not wrong. We need as much time as we can get. Are we still going the right way? Yep. Up ahead, you'll see something that looks like a door. Huh? What's that glowy thing on the floor? That's the key to moving forward. Stand on it for a bit and watch the ruins come alive. Is this the light of a primal? What kind of place have we wandered into? Well, I'll be. The door's opening. That platform smack dab in the middle of the desert? You gotta light the whole thing up. The contraption you're after is probably sleeping soundly beneath it. After you break the seal, we'll be collecting our treasure. Sounds simple enough? Yes, in theory. But we all know these sorts of places are riddled with traps. 
Nothing's free in life. You want the catalyst? You gotta work for it. Skyfarer's job never ends. Keep one hand on your weapon at all times. Hey, it'd be boring if all we did was step on tiles. Let's start by exploring up ahead. Yeah. What just happened? What peculiar wind magic. Perhaps this mechanism was used as a form of transportation? That ought to make desert surfing a breeze. Don't mind if I do. So we need to make this whole circle glow, huh? You've got it. It's basically a trap door to the vault. Once you activate all the keys, the door will unlock. And that sweet, sweet treasure will be mine. Uh, you mean there's more than one key? Yep. Remember the first one you stepped on? Let's do that a few more times. Man, they're scattered throughout this whole desert. At least our sight lines are clear. Should be easy enough to spot them. A golem. Or this Skydom's version of one. I wonder if they imported the technology from Earth Day. Was it guarding something? Please don't move. Please don't move. We managed to pull through. Booyah! All that's left is to activate the key. Here comes healing. I owe you one. Looks like we're halfway there. Let's just hope nothing interrupts us. in with the sands and ruins. Residue from the Dali catastrophe. Leveled the island one night 15 years ago. Holy mackerel. What in the world happened? Uh, 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 uh. Any non-work related info is gonna cost extra. Fine, whatever. I didn't want to know that bad anyway. Part of the circle's lit up. That switch we activated worked. Good. You already know what to do. Light up the rest so we can get inside. <laughs>
Big monsters always pack a wallet. Huh? Quick! Get in the circle! Much obliged. Come now. Time to activate the key. Only halfway? Pick up the pace! and grab the loot. I've got a date with that treasure chest. Now for the moment of truth. That catalyst better be there. Should be sitting pretty on its own tailor-made pedestal. I don't care what you grab first. Just don't forget to bring us back our box of riches. These punks again. If you want a beating, we'll oblige. You took the words right from my mouth. Uh, who said that? That stone is a captivating prize. Unfortunately, I can't allow you to claim it. <laughs> Damn. are my kindred. The Sword Veil. And we wish to show you our beautiful blade work. Do enjoy yourselves to the fullest. Teach them a lesson they shall never forget. With pleasure. Failed, my lady. Oh, very well. Since you insist upon testing the sword veil. Head on 
Your spirit is impressive, but how long before it breaks? She can make shields with those slicers? But of course! My blades hold infinite potential! Though it takes a true visionary to see that! How dare you stop my blades! Even the sturdiest shield can be broken! Dark forward! Aggressium! able to get the old Lyria back. Uh-huh. Come in, crew. Oh. Is everyone all right? Hey, it's Roland. Is the Grand Cipher back to 100%? Yes. We're on our way over right now. You're getting it done. Thanks, pal. So, any news on the Catalyst? We sort of ran into a minor hiccup, but it's safe in our hands now. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Great job out there, everyone. I'm coming to pick you up now. Thanks. Wait. Roger. I won't fail!
overkill for a glorified treasure warden. Go up there. Excavalion won't go without a fight. 
It's protecting itself with a sand barrier. That flawless defense. They don't call it the primeval god of fortification for nothing. Dude, why are you bracing that thing? If we don't do something, it'll get back on its feet. I know. We can climb up its arm to get onto its back. And once we're up there, we'll have more options. Sounds like a plan to me. Come on. It's time to climb Mount Hudley. Hey, Zampa, since we're kind of in a deadlock right now, with this thing, I have visual confirmation. You're almost to the top. I think I see it. <laughs> no, wait!
Bot. They knocked that sucker down. Mind blown. That's all I can say. Gee, this is why I do all the hiring. That crew packs a punch. Impressive to say the least. Same. My dogs are barking. Hey! Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> I'm glad you're safe, Vern. And the catalyst? Do you still have it with you? Got it right here! Thank goodness. And all that's left is to rescue Lyria from Avia. when we don't even know where to look. I've got that covered. I discovered where the red ship is going. Whoa! Did you really? Mm-hmm. Yes, really. They're heading to a place called Fondem, the Scarred Isles. Magma flows deep beneath the land. Not exactly what I'd call an ideal vacation spot. It almost sounds like a volcano. Why would they go there? I'll explain on the ship. Come, back to the Grand Cipher. Hey, folks. Sorry to butt in. Me and the boys are gonna park ourselves right here. If you come across any curios while you're out there, come see us again. We'll trade you some great items for them. Give us the VIP treatment. <laughs> you got cheek, don't you? I can appreciate the hustle. Hmm. You folks are tough. But if you really need me, just call. I'll come and run. In the meantime, try not to kick the bucket. Got it? Now that the catalyst is ours, it's just a matter of time before we get our Lyria back. With the catalyst in our hands, we board the Grand Cipher to go after Avia again. Next stop is Fonda. Just a short hop, step, and a flight away. It's been roped off as a danger zone, which, uh, isn't ominous at all. The church is headed there for one thing. Yet another altar housing a primeval god. All of Zega Grande's gods, or I guess primal beasts, are a force to reckon with. But we can't let Avia keep exploiting Lyria's power. If they force her to commit atrocities, once this is all over, she'll never forgive herself. Thick black smoke blankets the sky. Rivers of fire flow below. Yeah, pretty much the perfect stage for a fateful showdown. Well, here's to hoping we make it out in one piece. There, we're moored. Red ships shouldn't see us from here. We'll hit them before they know what's coming. I'm not the only one who saw that big-ass fire geyser, right? No, we all saw it. Only a primal could pull that off. Then it's clear that's where they've taken Lyria. Prepare for take... <laughs> what now? I believe it means the volcano is close to erupting. How are you so calm? Lava is not how I want to go out. And what about the Grand Cipher? to get to Lyria. 
You're preaching to the choir. Of course I want to go rescue her, but I just... Ugh. Hmm. I saw how they handled Excavalion. They could be my best bet going forward. But we'll be stranded here if we lose the ship. It would all be for nothing. All right. I'll take the helm and fly the ship to safety. Once the area stabilizes, I'll come back to pick you guys up. You all go on ahead. Sorry for the trouble, Roland. Sure you don't mind? Not at all. Besides, since when has Mr. Fixit ever let you down? Ah, uh, before I go. Vern, do you mind showing me the catalyst? Wait, right now? Um, sure. No problem. There, I've activated it. Hold it near Lyria, and it should release the lock on the collar. And that'll give us a fighting chance! Thanks, Fix-It, dude! Hmm... Time to part ways for now. Danger lurks around every corner in this place, so proceed with caution. Don't worry about us. You just focus on keeping the Grand Cipher safe. Come on, everyone. We need to hurry. I'm sorry, Skyfarers. Lilith was my responsibility. We'll share some apples when you come home, Lyria. I can feel it. A primal beast is nearby. Beef. Your guess is as good as mine. All I know is he's the reason Lyria's here in the first place. Crap! Volcano's getting ready to blow! Oh no! The crowd is sinking into the magma! Can't do anything about it! Just run for your lives! Don't look back! Anytime soon, right? That primal looks quite similar to Bahamut. Is that why it was able to imprison Lyria? Ah! 
Why is it taking a dip in the magma? Oh, the ice! It's a magma wave! Get swallowed by that, and it'll leave more than a nasty burn! Get to the cover of that outcropping! It's our only chance! Now's our chance to close the gap! Wave in half? I don't know whether to be grateful or terrified. Both, I guess. Why is he going that far? Would he really be trying to save Lyria? I mean, even if he does, he'll just take her away again. And we're back to square one. My thoughts exactly. Can't let him do that. It looks like they've come to an impact. Now we can join the fight. Another wave is coming! of bread turned right around in the what you care the most. It abducted Lily. Is that the gist of it? Hey! We might not be able to get through to the giant snake, but I know someone who can. Of course. The catalyst. We'll create an opening so you can wake Lyria up. Huh? to attack all at once. We will pass the torch. I'm always ready. Just give me the signal. The time is over. Here goes nothing. Come on, Lyria. Wake up. <laughs> Smash through the wall like it was nothing. Looks like another chase is afoot. It's running scared because it knows the catalyst worked. Our next encounter will be its last. You... How'd they get down there? Yeah. And let's face it. 
If you want to take down this guard, you'll need my help. All right. We'll work with you for as long as our goals align. I still don't like the idea of teaming up with this loser. Beggars can't be choosers. I take you right now. Don't blow again. It means our attacks won't get through. Burn. Let's do what we did before. After we create an opening, you use the catalyst. Got it. I'll be ready. Here goes. Here shares a life link with Lyria. Their fates are connected. Let's go! 
Captain, how is she? <sighs> well done, oh. everyone. and misery make fools of us all. Here I see a troop of puppets flouncing about in a play with no audience. And your bond with the shaman? It's threadbare. Little more than a thin line of hope. Fear not, and trust me with your strings, and I shall deliver salvation unto you all. I know this is much too sudden for you to comprehend. But don't struggle. Embrace it. Pitiful fool! Face your judgment! See how nice of obvious leader to come greet us herself. Saved us the trouble of tracking you down. My dear, I'm not looking for a fight. I've come to extol the virtue of salvation. Meet your friends! Atone for your hubris! You smack the magic tricks and give us a fair fight. She's brimming with power. I'm afraid to even get close to her. You will love you in a believable manner. Such a love. Look at that black aura coming off of her. The ordeal of our pilgrimage are nearly at an end. Your crew is largely to thank for that. Acknowledge my vision. And salvation shall come. Isn't it obvious that I am shepherding all to a transcendent future? We don't need your phony baloney philosophy. As skyfarers, you we put our faith in a real God. Uh, the time has come to pen a new chapter in this saga. This has been a long journey, but a fruitful one. Now, to open the gates and bask in the light of paradise! Stop! What are you doing? No, we'll all be... <laughs> Why must you reject salvation? Do you not see that it is the perfect course? Mm -hmm. You dare defy me to the end? I'd rather not harm you. That would not be in the shaman's best interest. So I ask. Judge for yourself the miracle of my salvation. Ah! Huh? That's dirty! Give it back! Why? This has always belonged to us. I admit, I am intrigued as to how you were able to activate the catalyst. Although, I suppose it no longer matters at this point. With the primals in my possession, I've won. Strong cage. My powers are useless against it. Damn it! We didn't come this far to get put in timeout. There is still hope left. Yeah. 
Roland? You did this? Of course he did. And now even Vulcan Bola has fallen into Lilith's hands. I can't stall any longer. The fate of the skies calls upon the might of your crew. Will you fight to save it? Roland, I'm not sure if I like where this is going. Yeah. Tell us what this is all about. Of course. But first, your injuries need tending to. Let's return to the ship. <sighs> the time to reveal the truth has come. Well, the floor is all yours, Roland. Thanks. First, I want you all to take a look at this. That's the beast from Tempeel. Furikin. Lilith released the primal beasts from their slumber and stole their powers. Those powers now flow within Lyria. She's essentially a living storage vessel. <laughs> the Astral Realm is Lilith's home. One way back is to restore the Forbidden Primal. Angra Mainyo. I hope I'm wrong, but she plans to feed it the other beast's powers. Just how big and nasty is this Mainyu thing? It's the primal beast of gateways, allowing all kinds of travel between any two points. Distance doesn't matter, so in theory, one could even pass through to the astral realm. It doesn't sound that evil to me if all it does is open a bunch of doors. <sighs> if only it were that innocent. The problem lies in what's needed to open a gate. You see, the gates require energy proportional to the distance between them. Now, let's pretend we want to open a gate to the Astral Realm. In this case, distance is secondary. Now we're discussing interdimensional travel. So, energy-wise... Yes, an extraordinary amount will need to be consumed. And that instantaneous consumption will trigger grave repercussions. At best, Zeka Grande would be reduced to nothing in the aftershock. At worst, most of the Sky Realm would cease to exist as we know it. There's no way that's possible! Then let me tell you a story. Fifteen years ago, Lilith revived Angra Mainyu. She attempted to open the gate to the Astral Realm. Fortunately, for whatever reason, she failed in her scheme. But a number of islands weren't so lucky, and they were rendered uninhabitable. Survivors of the incident are forever cursed to live their lives with unending trauma. That's awful. You see now? She won't give up. She will utilize the power of the Four Primals and attempt to cast open the gates once more. And the only thing waiting for us on the other side of those gates is sheer destruction. We can't allow history to repeat itself. There's something I'd like to ask about this woman, this Lilith. She's an astral, isn't she? The potency of her powers and her obsession with the Astral Realm give her away. <sighs> the Astrals. The invaders who once ruled over our skies.
You are correct. Mm-hmm. Well, it takes one to know one. <laughs> Unbelievable. I suspected as much a while back. You know a great deal about this Skydom, things that no ordinary person should know. I'll be damned. A real live astral right under our noses. <laughs> Sorry. Can't blame a guy for being on edge. Is that... Those are obvious raptors! You're kidding! They really chased after us? They couldn't have mobilized a hunting party this quickly. Of all the times to hound us, they choose now? Well, they're here. Less talking, more blasting. For a more peaceful flight. How did they find this route? It's those interlopers! Stage formation! We must take this ship! They seem just as surprised as we are. It might be a coincidence. All squadrons shoot to kill! Lady Lilith has decreed these heathens be purged for the nefarious scheme! Unfortunate timing on our part. Stay alert for more. It just occurred to me. There's only one destination at the end of this flight path. Which means we're headed to the same place as these jokesters. Indeed. But let us discuss particulars after we have saved our hides. You fools don't know when to give up. It seems conviction is a strong motivator. Well, when you got an astral yank in your chain. <laughs> Did you like that? Let's just focus on the path ahead. Let's go, That was the last of them. Looks like Obvious already making their next move. I must take action. Wait, I just want to be super sure. Are you really an astral? <laughs> you wouldn't be the first. We've met other astrals before. Loki and Mikaboshi, if those names ring a bell. They have their own particular philosophies. But you seem different from them. I know, right? It's like Fixit Dude actually wants to be a part of the Sky Realm. Indeed. It was no act when you risked life and limb to save the people of Folka and Tempeel. I'll be honest. I once viewed Sky Dwellers as insignificant. But that all changed. Many years ago. The first friend I ever made in this world taught me a valuable lesson. They said there is strength in solidarity. Understanding can overcome adversity. Help us grow. Folka is now my home away from home. The people there are like family to me. Sadly. We experience longevity on different scales. If I were granted one wish, it'd be to stay with them forever. At the very least, I want them to be happy. I'll do anything I can as an astral to protect the populace, to protect the islands. And I'll stop Lilith, no matter the consequences I must suffer. how you feel. The Sky Realm is our home, too. So you can count on us. I guess even Astros come in all kinds of different flavors. Just like Sky Dwellers. The same can be said of Primal Beasts. <laughs> kind of weird having an Astral watching our backs for once. But I won't complain. Thanks, everyone. I'm sorry, I haven't been up front with you all. I suppose I was acting out of cowardice. I was... afraid of your reactions, if you learned I was an astral.
We're in this together. <laughs> Captain. Thank you. <laughs> yes. With Roland's aid, we'll surely stop Lilith and rescue Lyria. Angramanyu's real body is in an altar beneath Seed Hollow Castle. Yikes. There's a sinister primal lurking right under that huge city? Yes. And I'm the one who sealed it down there centuries ago. But if Lilith found Angra 15 years ago, that means the seal is... Broken. When she squandered away Angra's power, she failed to capture its true form as well. I'm certain it's still in the altar somewhere, camouflaged by its gateway powers. Ah, so that's why you stayed behind in Seed Hollow, to find the damn thing. Indeed. Unfortunately, my search turned up nothing. However, the moment Lilith summons Angra's real body, that may be our chance to strike. I warn you, she and I are equally matched. But, lucky for me, I've got the better team. Apia's no doubt getting closer to the castle. There's no time to lose. We'll gear up in the city and make a run for the altar. Or else these skies are done for. Man, crap's really hitting the fan now, huh? You better hightail it back to Seed Hollow before it's too late. So, we've suddenly found ourselves caught up in an astral tug of war, decades in the making. The relationship between Lilith and Roland remains unclear, but one thing is certain. Roland is our greatest ally in Zega Grande. And with all the good he's done here, his love for Sky Dwellers is plain as day. Together, I know we'll stop Lilith and ensure Angra Manu's gate stays closed. We will protect the Sky Realm. Seed Hollow is burning. Another victim in Avia's desperate mission to return to the stars. This all started because I brought Lyria to Zega Grande. And now our battle is intertwined with the fate of the Sky Realm itself. We need to get to the heart of the city and fix the damage that's been done. Whoa! Is this even the same city? No time to assess casualties, I'm afraid. Not when we know Avia will make a beeline for the castle. I suspect we'll face a tough road ahead. Everyone, prepare yourselves accordingly. Oh, you back already? Look, you've scratched my back in the past, so I'm willing to give part with some intel, free of charge. Regarding the city, my people are out surveying the damage as we speak. Early reports suggest, strangely enough, that Avia isn't focused on taking out the commercial district. Instead, they're concentrating on one area and one area alone. The castle. Considering they've got a force of 5,000 strong, you'd think they'd try to occupy more. But here we are. In addition to the ground troops, they've got manned and unmanned aircraft to boot. Not to mention, the Silver Wolf Corps and the Sword Veil seem to be acting in concert. First time for everything, huh? To be completely honest, the whole thing makes me mad as hell. I'd like to jump into this circus and pound a few chumps myself. The city's well-being comes first. You just go smack their leader a good one for me. Got it? We'll all sleep better once she's out of commission. Avia is focused entirely on occupying Seed Hollow Castle. I 
fear Lilith is wasting no time. She's not sparing numbers either. There's a million of them swarming around. We don't need to engage with all of them. Cut off the snake's head, and you don't have to worry about the body. The church's attack has shut this whole city down. Talk about dire straits. At least Sierra still has her shop open. That's kind of a relief, right? Once she hears coins jingling, I'm not sure Bahamut himself could stop her. Anyway, let's double check our supplies before moving on. We'll enter the castle through these doors. Everyone ready? Ready. This time, I'm coming too. We'll save Lyria and stop Lilith once and for all. should be just down this corridor. Man, those poor seed hollow guards. They didn't sign up for this. This area. Get out of here or face this Don't back down. We have the power of the primeval gods on our side. Primeval gods, huh? Amazing how that term persists. Six hundred years after I first formed Avia, Lilith and I were working on our experiment. Studying the effects of sky dweller emotions, such as faith, on primal beasts. But she twisted the convictions of the masses, reshaping them as building blocks for this paramilitaristic cult. Lady Lilith will guide us to the promised land. We do not fear death. Inquisitor Rook's group will be here soon. Hold on till then. <laughs> Maybe you should have stretched this morning. Toys to harass us with. Peach, they really deployed it to tie you a tar. But it should still be in the research phase. The multiple legs allow for maximum stability and maneuverability. It has high firepower and horsepower, and a certain genesis plot. Sorry, just like you blow anything else up. So maybe we could try to salvage it. <laughs> Before it shoots us straight in. That's not good. We won't be able to lay a finger on it while the boosters are after it. Focus on evasion for now. Easy enough for you to say. You see it dashing around everywhere. This bottle of Tadu Atari spends tons of energy while boosting. It shouldn't last much longer. If only we could explain it to death. <laughs> Well done! And what a relief we didn't completely destroy such a fine specimen. Hold on, you hear that humming? I don't think we're out of the woods yet. Now we have to fight two of them? Allow me! Uh, don't mind if I recruit a little help? Core seems undamaged. I could use it to fight off the others. Did you really just hop up on that thing? Do you even analyze it? Where we're going, we have no need for my thing. It'll be a thing to cover you. Why does Roland always get weirder around new machines? Yeah, I don't like that people in his eyes. Oh, come now. Why must you criticize me mid-battle? Can't we focus? Prepare our panic. Happy with our reinforcement, Caillou, it's our time to come online. I've shot past 
the tide to cause maximum output. I'll fire on the enemy ship while it's still operational. Suck on that, obvious punks. Insolent heathen! never seems to run out of munitions. Oh, such revolutionary technology for society's benefit. You will be missed. More rubble, is it? Never fear. I'll have it removed post-haste. <laughs> this tea is simply to die for. There's no better appetizer to a banquet of blood. I knew you'd be back for more. In the name of the Sword Veil Fellowship, I shan't let you take another step. Let's have a clean death match. Who cares about these photos? Befitting obvious two strongest generals. As you can see, my poorest creation is in need of some entertainment. Not much of a door. This is nothing. What? I hear ya. Piercing! Catalina! I'm here! Behold the pinnacle of swordsmanship! You! I'm on it! Uh, 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 but these two take it to a whole different level! You flatter us, sir. May we have the honor of knowing your name before we destroy you? Strange, Wicked. But I'm just a nobody from a far away... My sword! My spear! Madness can stone you! They're attacking in tandem! Linking together was your party trick for- Come on! Show them what we got! Indeed, just as we planned. Ah! Look for the star! They shall guide us to Providence we sail! They've managed to combine might and skill in perfect harmony. I knew there was more to you. Show me what else you can do. Oh dear, look what you've done. General Galanzi is unstoppable once riled up. You speak tight. I'll handle the rest. Man, can't you just quit? We're all clearly worn out here. A wolf doesn't off his tail between his legs. Fight me, coward! Yeah, yeah, I figured this is how it would go. Not really a death match without the death part, is it? This'll hurt! Enough! Ah! You can't escape! What an amazing death! 
Good. I regret nothing. <sighs> <sighs> Milady? I know well the lunacy of my position to be making demands of you. But please, the Sword Vale are my family. If you can, find it in your heart to spare them. Take me! I staked my life on this death match. Now come claim your hard-earned spoils! Uh, look, we just want to get through here without trouble. As long as you stay out of our way, we got no reason to fight anymore, deal? There's no time to waste. Forgive my failure, Lady Lilith. Complete and utter defeat! They might actually pull it off! we've reached a dead end not to worry there's another path this way what you have not bad here we are would you all please stand back up ahead is the altar where Angra Mainu lies sealed will no doubt find Lilith there already. A special ward warps time and space around Angra, making physical contact impossible. Let us hope Lilith has not breached it yet. We have only one shot at victory. I will strike the moment she calls for Angra. So when it gets its fuel, blast the engine? Yep, that'll do it. Okay, people, look alive. This one's for Lyria. Dawning of salvation is upon us. The path will soon open. <gasps> oh. I wasn't expecting to see them again. That's enough! Lyria's coming back with us! Is that so? Id? I can destroy on remind you. Now. 
look around. Do you honestly believe Lyria deserves any of that? You think you can save Lyria? What a fool. This crew untold agony. But this time we'll be different. Great job, team! I bet you say that's all the hell. We will destroy you! Where is he getting this kind of power? The sheer concentration of magic is extraordinary. I've always thought he was inhumanly strong, but inhuman magic to boot? What the heck is he? Thank you. Cut them down. Great shooting, Rackham. That was nothing. His counters are fearsome. Yep, let's not make that mistake again. Lay out the attacks while he's in that stand. I've seen enough! Enough. This ends now. Awaken. Your dawn has arrived. Become my power! Yeah. 
this entire room in an instant. Yep, that speed is a serious problem. Well, he can't just dash around all day, can he? We have to find his weak spot. Take uh, your back on your feet. Actually down? Let's just get to Lyria. Heal! Thanks! Got heal for ya! were such a careless one. Get ready. <laughs> the primal beast who distorts space itself. I can't believe it overpowered Roland so easily. This fight's going to get desperate. Stay vigilant. These sky dwellers are all leaves, and I am the winter of your discontent. My coming is your death. Even Astraeus was no match for me. I could likely blow you over with a single breath. This is all right. We're afraid after this. We won't be asking us to cut up your suit. Head front. Now that we're wearing a mask, we can cut loose. Let him have it. Lyria, Burr, stay back. Things are bound to get serious. Okay. Be careful, Catalina. Uh, I'm not much of a fighter. If I notice anything suspicious, I'll tell ya. Winter spray is not good! Hey, Hanging in there? That's so fair! All the lights will all see through, and then our attack stop working! I can tell that it's here and yet not. That must be part of its power. Oh, like a lamb to the slaughter. So, 
Innocent. So foolish. Captain, please! Protect Lyria at all costs! If only you, Guidelines, had come to your senses, all of this could have been avoided. You are worth the air you breathe. Return me to the void. Lilith, you are not walking away from this. No, not again. This is wrong. How do we stop her? You still think you can stop me? What a quaint thought. I'm afraid Anna your little crew is all out of options. Now, join your lost friends on the other side. Should I see you in the next life? It will be too soon. This'll hurt! You let go of me, or I'll come back and haunt your ass! The Sky Realm and all of its inhabitants stand insignificant before Anka, my new. Compared to eking out a meaningless existence, doesn't eternal rest sound far more appealing? No one gives a crap about your evil plans! Just give her friends back! Hear me? What a great little worm! They're gonna make you pay! There's no way you'll get away with this! Now, dear Captain, you deserve to be rewarded above all others for bringing the shaman to my doorstep. Bear witness as your entire world crumbles. skies. Let me whisk you away on a journey aboard the Ark of Angra Mainyu. <laughs> Shaman's other half. <laughs> Id, explain yourself. Mother, you told me to protect Lyria. But this. Why this? This isn't what you said! Why did Lyria... Calm yourself, Id. Angra Mainyu has been revived. Thus, the shaman's role is complete. Consequently, your duty as her guardian is no longer needed. But, Mother, please! Temper, Id. It almost sounds as if you disagree with me. Uh. 
My naughty child. You're no better than these interlopers. Forget about me! Focus on your bling! Adversity only seems to push you towards victory. After all, you must be confident you can prance out of here as the hero. Don't be. Humdrum tales of heroism and gallantry have no place on my shelf. Let us finish this charade! should not have the magical reserve to wield this.
primeval dragon. Child of darkness and flames, thy name is... Castle, I think. What the hell happened? It appears the Captain and Lyria restored everything back to normal. Way to go, Captain! Man, it's hard keeping up with you young bucks. Always stealing the thunder. <laughs> well done, Captain. Where's Vern? I totally knew you'd kick butt! I think we can safely say, all's well that ends well. <laughs> <laughs> I want to apologize to everybody. Even though I couldn't control myself, I could still see everything that was happening. All the scary stuff I did, I was powerless to stop it. I wasn't sure if it was a dream. That wasn't you, Lyria. You all still came to save me. After what I did to everyone, to Catalina, and especially to you. It's okay now. 
I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Dry your tears, Lyria. You're back with us now. There's nothing to fear. Just use you as the fuel source, then. No, I won't let history repeat itself. Now I understand. You're all influenced by the singularity. But fate set in motion can't be stopped. You will come to understand the depths of my... Unflinching resolve. The astral realm awaits the fruits of my research. I won't be denied, Estelucia! Stop. If you open the gate to the astral realm, this world will be destroyed. Angra was sealed for a reason. Does that mean nothing to you? Let me ask you this instead. Why do you care so much about these skies? They're so full of heartache and despair. Worries that shall be long eclipsed by the providence of a new order. You're blind, Lilith. Blind to their kinship. Blind to their hopes and dreams. There are things in this world that mean more than power, or... Fix it, dude! <sighs> no, Astraeus. All that is obvious to me is that we don't see eye to eye. And you're as guilty of the same sins as the rest of these fools. Hear my voice. Deliver us from grief and sacrifice. Fulfill my salvation. <laughs> follows at my heels. The sky will fall, and the stars will ascend. Utopia is within my grasp. Are we back at the altar? What seems so. 
Everybody, run! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It just came Is out of nowhere. The end? Hurry! Go lay up with daggers, crew. Yes, sir. How's the second district holding up? Barely. Oh, no. The city's falling to pieces. Hey, I think we need to tell Zothba about Roland. folks got your friend back. Hello. Nice to meet you. My name is Lyria. I'm Zothba, an information broker. Must have been tough out there, huh, little lady? Um, yes. It was. Zothba, do not frighten the poor child. Huh? Who's being scary? I'm on my best behavior here. It pleases me to see that everyone is in good health. I came to lend my support the moment I caught wind of Avia's assault on Seed Hollow. Speaking of allies, I don't see Roland with you. Where'd he go? He needs our help. Your eyes tell me more than words can convey. It must have been a horrific affair. Maybe we can do something for him, though. <laughs> you in, Isti? Most certainly. I am off to make arrangements at once. All right. Call it intuition, or an overactive gut. But an epic storm's brewing in this here skydom. I don't know how to explain it, but the air's buzzing with emotions. Stuff like joy, anxiety, sadness, anger. You can tell when it's coming to a head. <sighs> I haven't felt this spooked since the Dolly Island disaster 15 years ago. My point is, you folks ought to haul it back to your own Skydom. What? You can't say that at a time like this! Look. My sources tell me you hail from Fanta Grande. You've got a fine ship that can cross the Grim Basin. No need to play hero here. It's not like that. We can't just leave everyone when we know it's coming. Lilith is going to use something called the Pillar of Bayoi to destroy the sky. Do we just let her do it? And what about Roland? Let me be the voice of reason here. You saved your princess. Mission accomplished. So what do knights do after rescuing the damsel? They make sure she stays safe. You're an excellent captain, and so I don't need to spell out your next move for you, do I? I appreciate the concern. Well... Your crew's grown on me. That's why I will take it from here. <sighs> Come on. All I'm saying is don't push your luck. Ah, oh, who am I kidding? We both know I can't talk you out of this. But Zega Grande is our home. At least let us keep our pride. Be seeing you around there. 
and quit with the long faces. We can handle this. We should get out of Zega Grande, but... Roland made it abundantly clear that Angramainu is more than Zega Grande's problem. That power can and will consume the skies. Exactly. Um, so what I wanted to say was... We got you, Lyria. Just take a look at my butt. Ah, welcome back. Grand Cypher's good to go. Are you ready to leave? Let's fly. The air currents have become unstable. Keep your wits about you. So, are we really doing this? What's the plan? We are going to rescue Roland. <laughs> right on! Mission numero uno! He's the reason we were able to save Lyria. Now it's our turn to repay the favor. And I gotta thank him for taking such good care of the Grand Cipher. I'm with you there. But this ain't gonna be a walk in the park, you know. Huh. <laughs> Bring it on. There's no turning back anyway. Hang tight, fix it, dude. We're a coming for ya. Let's give it everything we've got. A more fearless crew there never was. <laughs> Let us wish them well. They're the perfect folks to defy primeval gods. I'm kinda glad it's them, and not me. And so our debt to them grows heavier once more. Well, enough yammering. We got our own work to do. Ready? Wind's running wild today, but it's nothing the Grand Cypher can't handle. We finally have Lyria back, but there's not even time to celebrate. Lilith is so close to her goal. She's become blind to everything else. I doubt there's anything that can stop her now, except us. It might sound melodramatic, but this is fate. Our crew versus Lilith. So there's only one thing left to do. Fly to the Pillar of Vioi and end this. The sky's a shocking shade of despair. Guess we got Lilith and Angra Mainu to thank for that. That pillar scares me more. Lilith called it the bridge to the Astral Realm, right? Only Angra Mainu can open the gate. That pillar must be like an altar for the rites. Look at the very top. It's the light the gate came from. We have to go investigate. Stupid Lilith! What nice Building creepy pillars in our sky? She's gonna pay for this! What hole did this weirdo crawl out of? It's part of Angra Mainu! Okay, so it's <laughs> creepy and hostile! At least it'll be a good warm-up before the final match! Are those little ones also part of Angra Mainu? Yes, but these actually have physical shape. And these are attacks will work. Ah, uh, weird portal just opened up. Think it's because we trounced all those mini Mainus? What? It doesn't feel like I'm cutting anything. Whoa! We did go through that rift, right? It looks like we're still in the same place, but everything's all hazy. 
Look, the monster from before. Is it just me, or does it appear solid now? I bet it's because we went through that funky portal. Ah! I knew it was a good no. idea. I don't think we'll make it very far in this haze. Let's pass through the rift again and return to the normal world. Well, now that those spooky portal monsters are gone, what say we get a move on? I can't believe they were residing in a different dimension. It must have something to do with Angramainu's powers as gatekeeper. I'm as shaken as you are, but at least we have a strategy now. like a primal beast. And this presence isn't Angra Mainyu? No, it's... Huh? What the hell? Lyria, we're hopping between <laughs> dimensions at the drop of a hat. Nothing's impossible. comes first. Talk later. I don't trust your hero act. After Burikin's dusted, I'm gonna make you spill your evil master plan. <clears throat> Back off! Enough! 
Is anyone hurt? I feel like a million rupees. But, uh, what are we gonna do about him? <sighs> Ed, wait! You want to stop Lilith too, don't you? After all the time I spent with you, I know how much you care for her. But even if you love her, after what she's done, we have to stop her. My mother. Or Lilith, I should say. Intends to sacrifice the future of this world. I know I can't let her get away with that. But I can no longer feign innocence. This has gone on long enough. You wanna come with us then? Huh? Considering the scale of violence I inflicted on your crew. Well, in the end, you did help us. <laughs> a past enemy is a future friend. That's what they say. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll join you in the fight against Lilith. Let's stop her. I get it now. <laughs> the can we just fought? It was like a shadow, made from our memory of the real what thing. Shadow? So not only was it a counterfeit no. crime, it never truly <gasps> existed at all. Correct? Yes. I think it's because time and space is so unstable here. Reality is getting all mixed up. But who ever heard of a shadow with the destructive force of a primal? Value truly is fearsome.
Alonzo. I appreciate it. Oh, I hate it! I'm just here for the thrill! Of course! It's down! Get cruiser and give it a bruiser! I think Alonzo's got this on his own. What the hell? I get ready? Does this mean the party's finally getting started? So what? Catch my breath. Wait, you're gonna sleep here? We owe you, Alonzo. It, I've always wondered. When you were part of the church, why did you go to such lengths to protect Lyria? I was only following orders. At least at first. Lyria was the key to bringing salvation. But then you learned all Lilith wanted to save was herself. Lyria was no more than a means to an end. Once she had made Lyria absorb enough primals, 
Lilith meant to free Angra Mainyu and sacrifice all who opposed her. I gave myself to Mother's cause. I trained and you. trained to protect her vision of salvation. When I learned it was all a lie, my life was devoid of me. There was nothing I wanted to fight for anymore, except Deliria. Now I'm protecting her because it's the first thing my heart's ever told me to do. A look at that. Who knows what'll happen if we touch it? I sense something. It's the primal beast from Fondom. Please tell me that's a bad joke. Don't we don't have any real estate to fight on. No, we've reached a dead end. By the way, uh huh? Aren't you? But I suppose etiquette can wait. First, a dance! No! Appreciate the support fire. Hey, you cleared the way. Don't do anything rash. Got it. Looks like the tempo's about to pick up. Mistake, Skyfarers. This was merely a matter of honor. Do not disgrace yourselves by thanking me. And so, I bid you adieu. I can't believe we're still breathing. Magliel hadn't come. We'd probably be s'mores by now. It's too soon to celebrate. Come on. 
Oh, hey! You seeing what I'm seeing? Is that the gate to the Astral Realm? It looks even scarier up close. Strange, isn't it? Gateways are usually a symbol of hope and new opportunity. Not this one. Like Roland said, if that door opens, then the skies will fall. We won't let it open. Yep, we'll beat Lilith, grab Roland, then skedaddle out of here. Sounds like a plan. Had you only seen things my way, this pitiful fate could have been avoided. Why must you insist on quarreling with your own brethren? It's unfathomable, truly. <laughs> ah, shaman. Impeccable timing, as always, I see. Can you feel the grip of imminent salvation? I invite you and your other half to watch. <laughs> and it is this betrayal? <laughs> hmm. Where did I go wrong? You can't sacrifice our skies to open that gate! We won't let you do it! Once I reach Estelusia, I shall guide this world to Utopia. Why would anyone reject my heartfelt invitation? Ah, <sighs> how I pity you poor misguided creatures. Yeah, like we give a crap about anything you say. Your messed up Utopia is built on sacrifice. No way we're letting that fly. <sighs> Options fail me. I can no longer sway your hearts or minds. As a parting gift, may you all find solace in death's warm embrace. Heads up, you big dumb bully! It's only called salvation when you're at Saving people. It, please don't disappoint me any further. You can still redeem yourself, eradicate these miseries, and come back to Mother. Please listen to me. I think you've lost sight of the big picture. What's a few skydoms when compared to all of eternity? <laughs> I can just absorb Angra Mainyu. <laughs> I'm afraid that's impossible. Angra Mainyu is completely under my command. Oh, we're good! Enough! Ashes to ashes! Let's just adjust! Yes! The captain's here! Watch out! Short on power. Astraeus, be a deer, won't you? Damn! Hang in there, Roland. We're 
we're gonna save you. Struggle. The sooner you accept death's embrace, the sooner you can be at peace. Please, you have to understand. This isn't salvation. It's destruction. Preclude celebrations, but we're not done yet. For a fraction of my soul, I'll buy all your death. Her power's flowing into Angra, mind you. She's attempting a fusion. Is she that desperate to live on, even if it means she'll stop being an astral? Oh, great gatekeeper! Angra, mind you! I beseech you, bequeath your power onto me! Take this vessel! I am yours! Invested in our skies. There's so many of them! Don't let the pressure get to you. Just focus on beating them one at a time. What? Damn. I just keep coming. How are we supposed to get to Angra Mining now? I think I can buy us some time. I need everyone to gather around. I love it when other people make the plans. Fight your way to rolling, everyone.
Unless you plan on walking home. Quite a raucous affair we have here. Calm it down before it gets more out of hand. in the sky. It's time for us to join us what? The world rests in our hands. What fun is a death match if my opponents are already dead? This is the moment of truth. Do not falter! Whatsoever you decide, we will follow your lead. Each shot costs us a mill. Okay, so what? Those folks are betting their lives out there. So shut your yaps and keep firing! Everyone's here! Our bonds are stronger than ever. We shall prevail! Let's show her what's up, Captain. Us Sky Dwellers are taking a stand. Yeah! You foolish heretics! Pay for your sins! Sucks to be you! Yeah. This will help a lot! Some music? Ready, Captain? No sweat, right? You. We're all here for you. Let's win this! Together! Yes. Enough of this madness. I hear ya! Let's get ready for the coolest fireworks you've ever seen! Roger that. I'm locked and loaded. The skies are counting on us! I hear ya! That's just a 
sins are grave, too great to measure. Don't you see? You were wrong to think of sacrificing this world and its people. It's not too late. It... I'll accept my fate, so please... truthful with you from the start. Thy divine right, the sky is once more yours to sunder and renew. Primeval dragon, child of darkness and flames! <laughs>
Shh. It's okay. Let me be the one to save you. I acted in haste. So swiftly you sensed the dimensional distortion. Oh, meddlesome wings. You who defy the stars. You will sleep within this child until I have further need of you. The stars await, and we mustn't keep them. The true beginning stirs. Id had become a dragon and vanished into the somber skies. His roar, which echoed like a distant peal of thunder, electrified me with sadness. <sighs> Can't believe it. I thought if we beat Angra Mainyu, we'd be free to go on our merry way. No kidding! Why did it have to go off and become Bahamut? Right. In which case... Hey, what are you thinking about, Rowan? It's like you've got all your gears whirring. It's starting to come together now. Especially if she used a Mind Sealer on him. The Mind Sealer is what they used to rob Lyria of her free will. What does it have to do with Bahamut? Everything. Lilith and Bahamut, destruction and rebirth, everything is linked. How about giving us the gist? Essentially, it comes down to why Lilith failed to wake Angra Mainyu 15 years ago. I heard the Sky Realm's Bahamut appeared after sensing an overwhelming astral presence. Perhaps that was more than rumor. You call that the gist? I'm even more confused. <sighs> Sorry. Fifteen years ago, Lilith summoned Angra Mainyu. At the same time, Bahamut manifested to face her. But this was not the same Bahamut you all know. Let us call it Bahamut Versa. 
It sensed the unfathomable power of Angra Mainyu and consumed it. Stopping Lilith in her tracks. But now... Perhaps, to remove Bahamut from the picture, Lilith trapped the Primal inside Id, using the Mind Sealer. Okay, but that doesn't explain why she suddenly freed Versa. Does she want to wreck the skies, or what? She once told Id that she would destroy the world to bring about its rebirth. Versa is more than capable of forcing reincarnation upon the Sky Realm. In any case, we know one thing for sure. If we leave Versa to its own devices, it will be the end of all life as we know it. You've got to be kidding! How are we going to defeat a World Crusher? And what's going to happen to Id? You aren't asking us to kill him, are you? got a debt to settle with that punk. Can't let him off so easily. How do you know it's still in there? Even Bahamut's got nothing on it. Exactly. Guy with a stick that far up his butt, even an apocalyptic dragon couldn't push him down. Even if we can't get through to him, he'll survive a beating. He trounced us, right? been around for a long time, but you Sky Dwellers never cease to surprise me. I never would have dreamed that a single crew could save Tempeel, or pacify Excavalion, or defeat Angra Mainyu. But you've taught me that it's not longevity or physical strength that's important. It's the power of your heart. You have my complete faith. I believe that nothing in all the world will keep you from saving your friend. It's settled. We smack Versa like a piñata till it coughs up in. Yeah! All right. Let's go. This world is precious. I mean, even the God of Destruction can't bear to lose it. Our bodies might be mortal, but our hearts are infinite. Though he's in a dark place right now, I hope it doesn't lose sight of that. But even if he does, I'll open his eyes again. I, this crew, will never abandon someone we care about. The sunrise spills over the Grand Cipher as we rush on the winds, chasing the sorrowful cries of a faraway dragon. the support. I won't waste it! The spell is perfect. And yet... Seems the binding 
It's only half effective. <laughs> Captain, the rest is up to you. You must save it. Consequences, but I want to believe in the limitless potential of Sky Dwellers. I want to believe you can rewrite even the laws of reality. It's hurting really bad. Sad and empty. We haven't known each other for too long, but I can feel it. You wouldn't want things to end like this. You don't have to save him. vessel for 15 years and yet you a mere mortal survived if i should fail to rescue you i don't think i shall ever forgive myself for the rest of my long long life in the past i had nearly existed it wasn't until you sky dwellers let me into your hearts that i learned what it was to live unlike immortals you are capable of change and growth all i want is to be a part of that help you build a glowing future. As an astral, I am also to blame for the failures of my people. And I swear to you now, I will set things right again. I don't like to admit it, the gods are a little beyond our skill level. We need more firepower. I think you mean dragon power. Lyrian, do you feel up to summoning Bahamut? Okay. Give me some time. Oh, yeah. Oh, miserable Wendy. That is the light of the apocalypse. The fire of doomsday. Its power is transcendent. If the attack lands, all the skies will be obliterated. You hold in the charge, but it's already stored up considerable energy. We trying to fry us, dang mammoth! Everyone, gather around me. Get to Lyria now! I'll keep you all safe. I promise. Unless my eyes deceive me, that 
in under all their scales. Isn't it? He's been tainted by Versa's destructive urges. And it seems his body and soul are still in one piece. And that means there's still hope. If you can sever the spiritual shackles that bind into Versa, he'll come back. Don't you remember? You made a promise! Is this your idea of protecting Lyria? You finally crawled out from under Lilith's thumb? And now you're gonna let yourself be crushed under verses? Not a problem! Leave! You can't push us away! Without us, you're pretty much the awkwardest person I've ever met! <laughs> He's right, kid. Hey, you need us. Better than that, Id. None of us would ever abandon a friend. Miserable myth! Uh, you know, hope is so sad, Id. Can't let the world end here. You haven't even had a chance to do your own life yet. Leave. My own life. Yeah. <laughs> 
be a defender to all of you. Valyria, to the skies! It must be the gate to Versa's home dimension! Versa is now a manifestation of sheer power, with no vessel to contain it. You won't be able to linger in this world much longer. If you can just weather these next attacks, the day is yours! Right. If I can get rid of Versa, I finally find closer. All right, Versa. Let's see how you like a taste of your own medicine. Use your powers against you. Even though there's so much at stake, it feels strangely calm. We're veteran sky bears. This ain't our first apocalyptic rodeo, and it won't be our last. If I had a rupee for every immortal butt we take, I could probably buy my own island by now. I don't mean to get mushy, but uh, I'm really proud to be a part of this crew. I feel the same way. I won't let anything happen to you or our world. Our journey can't end here. It's not water. We're gonna take some dragon tail and go on sailing to the end of the sky. Captain! The captain's here! Huh? Captain Blade! Bring it! Absolute zero! it sooner no use running anymore I am who I am oh. <laughs> an evil dragon child of darkness and flame my name is <laughs> Absolutely amazing. You've suppressed Versus Core and driven it back to its home dimension. Is everyone safe now? Thanks for everything. <laughs> you can buy me some apples on the way back. Huh? We're still not done. Wait, where do you 
Forgive me. <laughs> Kids these days, you two are totally <laughs> nuts. Let's roll into you, Bernie. <gasps> you okay, man? Where are you? Hmm. Good question. Someplace far away? <laughs> hey, this ain't the time for jokes. He and Bahamut are trapped on another plane. Think of it as a sliver between dimensions. Still, considering his transceiver seems to be working, For now. Sadly, I think my time's almost up. The line's going to get cut earlier than I'd hoped. Thought I'd still be able to open a gate from here. Guess not. Isn't there anything we can do? Sure, just stay calm. No need to worry about little old me. I'm Mr. Fixit, remember? There's no jam I can't get myself out of, you know. I'll make it. One last thing. So until I get back. I can to get back to that to do the check-in on the people of Fortnite. I don't want the moving sleep over me to be stuck in this bed. Uh, I'm back. We bumped into Roland when we first arrived in the Zega Grande Skydom. I have to atone. Huh? For Mother's crimes. And mine. Come on, no need to beat yourself up, kid. That's right. We couldn't have resolved this without you. Let's 
visit Falka. Couldn't hurt. Bye, man. <sighs> Are you good? Oh, wait. Don't let me off so easy. You all deserve an apology. <laughs> Cut the formality. We already said it was fine, right? <laughs> One of us now. Got me? Everything you've done. Never ever. <sighs> and when we find Roland, we'll give him the thanks he deserves. We've met so many people in the Zega Grande Skydom. New friends. New allies. We saw a man torn in two by family and betrayal. We were saved by an immortal who found beauty in our changing world. Through loss and adversity, our resolve brought Lyria and I closer than ever before. Yet this story is far from over. A good friend is still out there, waiting for us to come get him. And as for our journey, there's still much to see. To the ends of the skies where the stars reside, someday we will reach Asgard.